you just kind of look like scary Tommy. <laughs> and I can't see anymore. <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> well, just, you know what? Why don't we talk? You can show yourself for a minute and talk and then kind of move the flashlight around for whatever you're looking at. How about that? Does that work? Yeah. I'm really not too sure what to talk about because uh, this is one of my main research areas. And uh, there's, uh, there's always stuff happening. But, uh, but I, I, I can't really tell any particulars of what's going on lately, but uh, there's always stuff happening. Yeah. Well, and you're up there at night, so, and it's not a full moon, so there should be stuff going on, I think. Yeah. Man, it is dark. It is dark. <laughs> but you know what? So we should talk about that. So it seems like when we're out, I remember one time specifically we went for an overnight during a full moon because we thought, wow, this will be awesome because, you know, as paranormal people, there's a lot of spiritual activity like in a full moon. We got right. nothing for Bigfoot. I mean, there were a few little things that happened, but not a lot. So do you find that with the full moon? We find more activity when it's a new moon or the other phases of the moon where it's not so bright. Yes. That is absolutely the way I feel about it. Yep. So right now we're on the we're on a crescent, I think, a waxing crescent. So there's not a lot of light out there, as you can see. It's pretty dark. And it's uh it's raining. What's well, so, raining? Oh yeah, so it's really dark. <sighs> well, have you had have you heard anything? Have you heard any knocks, any any kind of crazy things on snaps no it's uh pretty quiet though yeah it's pretty quiet and this is your research area that you go in all the time right that you're yes. there yes so, it is and you've been recently you've been the last couple of days you <laughs> is that where you've been because i've seen you posting stuff on or doing live yep, yep. yep. absolutely uh, I was, uh, I was on the uh, quick bank up there the other, the other day, and, uh, it was pretty cool, so, um, yeah, it was a good place to be, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of tracks, but not really the tracks I was looking for, but. It was cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Did you, but, um, yeah. Are you are you hearing anything? Maybe you should knock. Do you have something you can knock on wood and see if anything happens? Hear that? You know what that is? Uh -uh. <laughs> it's a gas well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I sounded like psh, something, you know. Yeah. That'll really scare the crap out of you if you're by yourself. Yeah, no kidding. A gas well? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Something to uh, add a little ambiance. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so. I'm going to I'm going to do a knock here. Are you anywhere near any of those? Um, I know you were showing like um, some arches or something, weren't you, the other day? Yes. Are you actually buying those? the uh, this area here? This is one of the best areas. Um, actually, this is uh, not that far from my house. But man, this is such a good area. Oh, no. Let me find something to do.
Can't believe you're out there all by yourself. Can I just say? <laughs> Safety in numbers, Tommy. Yeah. But see, you got me here on the other end. So if anything happens, I just get on the horn and say, hey, go get go rescue Tommy Cooper. <laughs> Therefore, it's time to you. Are you hearing anything back? Yeah, yeah, something it sounded like something took off water. Let's just continue. Can you see? I can see. Like that? I can see a little bit. Oh, okay. Believe me, the alarm got my shot on. Just in case, just in case. In case you see a bear or something, you just need to scare it away. You know, I feel like I hear something in the background. Well, there's a lot of noise, actually. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I mean, there's like bugs and raindrops and mm -hmm. under. A lot of background noise. But that's cool. Is it raining hard? Uh, like moderately. Oh. Well, tell us, so tell us about this area. So this area is close to your home and it's yeah. in you, you, one of the areas that you frequent a lot looking and you found yeah. a lot of things. And, yeah. and uh, it has a, st a stone pit on it. And uh, I've been coming up here since I was you know, just nine years old, I would say. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, this place is really home. Uh, there's, uh, it's all uphill. Mm -hmm. And, uh, right there. I don't know, I can't see. Um, yeah, it's really all uphill. Flogging roads and stuff all through it. And, uh, this is actually the uh, lease that me and Jason are on. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the chance to come up here and do what we want pretty much. You know, you know what would be fun too is for this same episode, maybe we could do a little daytime so you could show us where you were like in the daylight. Oh yeah. So see where you are now. Maybe, um, probably can't do it tomorrow, but we'll work it out so that you can go up there during the day and then we can just add it to this, you know, yeah. so we can 
see what it looks like in the day and at night. And, you know, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, Yeah, this is Luis. Uh, it's tremendous that we have the opportunity to be on this. It's a thousand acres. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. Uh, That's so cool. Yeah. It's so quiet, though, actually. Mm hmm. I don't just, hear anything in the background now. When I told you that before, it's it almost to me sounded like voices, and I know there's nobody with you. So, <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely true. So I don't know what that was, but it sounded like someone talking kind of in the background. Probably my heavy breathing. No, I mean it sounded. Like, <laughs> no, I know. No, it sounded like voices. You know, it sounded like somebody. It was sounded like a conversation actually to me. Yes. So, and you maybe have, you know, you maybe have some paranormal activity going on up there. I know you said that there's some paranormal stuff happening too. Mm -hmm. So you got a little bit of everything going on up there, which is so fun. Yeah. I mean, this is really the lifeblood. I mean, this is it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there's other places we can go. And it's good to go to those other places, but this is our backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. And I love the fact that it's so close to your house. I mean, you know, we have our favorite place too, and it's not that far. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's not like just up the hill, <laughs> you right. know? Right. So that is so awesome, I think. Are you hearing anything or? Yes. Yes. I, uh, I just heard that. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You uh, hear me sh shout expletives and start rapping. Shells off. <laughs> well, it just proves you're like the rest of us. Hey, I have a mouth like a sailor sometimes. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, with the, uh, the, uh, the way the timber is, it's not like full grown timber but it's not like saplings either i mean it's uh it's just the forest was just about the right size to be uh getting the fruit and stuff off of the uh, trees and that uh, you know it's like it's like uh it's not the climax forest it's not like the, the be all end all, but it's well no. on its way. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's great when we do this because I think people need to know that when we're out there, you know, when you watch these TV shows, it's like a mile a minute, right? They're always having things happen. And I think what people don't realize is that really in real life, that one five minute segment may have taken 24 hours to film for something to yeah. happen. You're exactly right. Yep. Yep. Because we can be out there for a whole weekend and maybe have one, you know, 10 minute, oh my God, what is happening? You know what I mean? Yep. But we're talking yeah. a whole weekend too, you know? So yep. it's it's not like what you see on TV by any way, stretch or form. And research is a lot of walking through woods, sitting down, listening talking you know we like to talk a lot because i kind of think that that might work others say absolutely not you have to be quiet as a, a mouse you know a lot of different that. a lot of yeah. different opinions you know yeah. 
because you know like it doesn't matter how good you sneak you're never oh, they know you're there yeah, yeah they're always going to know you're there absolutely absolutely but i i do think sometimes you have to just sit by a tree and be quiet though so you can hear the forest yep. around you. and i know a lot of times we we talk a lot you know blah, 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 blah. this is how girls are blah, 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 blah. and then sometimes i'll say let's just sit here now <laughs> let's just sit and not talk for 20 minutes or something you know and see what happens yeah So this is, yeah, so this is how it goes, everyone. It's not just, and this is a nighttime investigation. So you don't really have eyeballs. You know, you can see a little bit, but not, and like we mentioned earlier, this is not a full moon. This is like a waxing crescent. So there's not a whole lot of light coming from the moon. And you have your one flashlight that you can see from, but that's pretty much it. So and you can feel things, you know, because we felt surrounded before, you know, and we know that it was a Bigfoot, but we have no proof, right? But right. we know what it was. You know, <laughs> what can I say? We know what it is, Tommy. And I think you know too, you know. Yeah. Yes. And I think, and I think another thing that people need to understand is it takes a lot of courage to be out in the woods at night in the dark. You know, it's um it's unnerving sometimes, you know, mm-hmm. cause there are a lot of sounds that we're not used to. And because it's so dark, there's so many shadows and so many things that look scary that in the daylight, you would never Whoa. think scary, Whoa. you know? Whoa. Whoa. That was the biggest tree knock you ever heard. Did you hear a knock? <laughs> What's that? I said, you heard a knock? And then I was babbling. Okay, I'm going to shut up for a while. Let's see if we hear it again. So loud. It was so loud. I I hope... I hope that caught it. I think it did because it was so loud. Awesome. You have something you can knock with. I'm not sure that that works really personally, but. No. I really... Maybe you should do another howl. Do another howl. Yeah. Woo! Oh, my. Not kidding you. Till you hear that knock. So loud. It was like right over the hill from me. Was there just one knock or do you think there was? It was one loud, loud knock. And now the dogs are barking. (laughs) Because they (laughs) they know what's going on, probably. (laughs) Maybe it's not a Sasquatch. Maybe it's a dog man. You guys have them there. Yes, we do. I mean, we don't know what they do. They might knock, too. We don't know. We don't know a lot about dog men. If I see them, I guarantee you. Well, yeah, I hope not. But yeah, who knows? Yeah, you know what? Basically, about a couple miles down this trail here, uh, I showed you my camping spot. Mm -hmm. And I was there in 84. And I was 14 years old. That was the closest Bigfoot encounter I've ever had in my life. Um, and it walked right through the camp. And uh, it, was, it was just nuts. It was just nuts. 
And isn't it amazing that they're so close to a population? I mean, I know it's not a big city like I live in, but I mean, there's it's a town, right? There's plenty of people that live around there. There's uh, 700 people that live in the town I live in, or yeah. a thousand people roughly. Yeah. That's that's quite a few, actually. You know. Yeah. There. Yeah. I cannot wait for Jason to, to amplify this because yes. oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. Well, I hope it happens again. You know, do you think so? So we should talk a little bit about, and if you hear anything, shut me up right away. Okay. But um, tree knock, what do you think? Why do you think they do that? And do you think it's a warning to other squatches or maybe their companions that there's a human nearby? I think they do it for a variety of things. And I think like that one I just thought, that was just, I think that was a warning to me. Uh, oh, yeah. And it was so, it was so close. It was so close. Uh, but uh, I think they do for a variety of things. Um, and uh, I just, I think different times it, it's for different things. Uh, and you know, the same way with like the, uh, the howls or whatever, it's, uh, there's different meanings for it. Hmm? Yeah, and I have heard that too, where a knock is a warning, could be a warning to us out there saying, don't come closer or maybe you should leave. You know, <laughs> one or the other. Um, me and Jim were out one night and uh, we got a couple hows at the state game lands. And I'll tell you what, I was so scared. I mean, I was so scared. I was like, like just immediately. And I was like, Jim, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We went back to the truck and we got in the truck and uh, I turned the dome light on and uh, He's like, dude, he's like, you're all red. You're like, he's like, is your heart, are you okay? You know, like, it, it was like, I was having a heart attack. And that's how yeah. scary it was. And we didn't even see him or anything like that. We just heard him. But it was like, it was like the unnatural fear. Well, they say that they do that to us, right? It's like yeah. they just kind of put you in a... Either they put you in a little kind of trance so you don't know what's yep. going on and you can't see them or they spread this fear, you know, because yep. I've had that fear too. And, yep. you know, it kind of takes a lot to scare me. I mean, you know, I've been yep. Well, yep. Here I'm investigating for a thousand years and I'm the unshakable one, right? I'm the one that yep. goes in and says, oh, come on, you know, but there have been several times in the woods where I have been scared out of my mind and i'm i'm not embarrassed to say it i just say i'm scared it's time to move on now <laughs> yeah yeah i mean because they're telling you to do that right i think we need to listen to our guts in that situation because you never know what might happen you know yeah. absolutely yeah yeah so look at that stuff yeah how about that yeah Morning floor rose, but still. Yep. All right, let's try one last wheel. Okay. Woo! Woo! Man, I'm going to have to up here later on tonight did you have a voice record did you have a voice recorder on by chance before i did not yeah. i did not i should have okay but you know we we can't think of everything you know what i mean <laughs> and uh you know that was it was so random and loud. Uh, yeah, I just I can't wait to see if it if it's available. This well, I'll, send, I'll send this to Jason tonight so he can look at it tomorrow. Does he work tomorrow? 
No, but he'll be around this weekend. Yeah, and he can just have a look at it and see if he can hear it, because that'd be awesome. But I do think before we put this out, you should go back to where you are during the daylight, and we can yeah. get back just for like 10 minutes or something, and you can show where you were. I think yep. that would be cool. So people can... You know, actually, I think I could find that tree that was buckled. I mean, like, that was a big deal. I might find the tree that was broke or whatever. Oh, yeah, that one that you showed that was like. Yeah, yeah, it was about that big. Yeah. 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 That would be fun to see because I yeah. know you showed it. You were live or your pictures. I saw it somewhere. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, it was fun, man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's always good to show what we do in the field, whether it's during the day or at night. At night, it's it, it lends a more woo aspect right because it's nice yeah. and, and what do you think i'm gonna ask you one more question before we go but do you think you it's because we we go a lot during the day you know i just feel like it's it's unless you know the area really well uh, it's hard to be there at night all night because you could fall you could get hurt there's a lot of things that can happen you know what i mean and right. i think that bigfoot is around day and night what are your thoughts about that i think he's around in the day but i think he's sleeping a lot and i yeah. think he he sends the the one person out to be the uh, sentinel the guard but I, but I think at night i think they're definitely all That's over the place. yep 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 and i know i think um i think you know, when we had when we had the search for Sasquatch guys on, they talked about how they had like 10 people. And so they went in pairs and they were spaced out about a half a mile apiece. And they sat, just took their lawn chairs out or whatever and sat in the field all night long and listened. You know, that's a great oh, yeah. idea, I think. You know, you yeah. don't, don't necessarily need to be walking around and hiking. I think you, you just hike into a good spot and put up your chair and just sit. You know, and see what happens. You know? That's what uh, that's yeah. what uh, Bob Trent and uh, Dwight Campbell do too. Yep. Yep. I yep. think it works very well. I do too. I do too. And I know we need to do more of that this year. And and when we're camping, of course, we do that. You know, but it's it's a little harder for us. Well, because I live, you know, in the metro area. Not that it's, you know, mm -hmm. but but we go at night too. But we do a lot during the day. But I, that's kind of more scouting, I think, because we look around and see what's going on. And you know, if we think it's worthy to come back at night, we'll come back at night. But but we have stuff happening during the day too. But at night, like I said, it's amplified just a little bit more because all of our senses are just so so crazy. You know, there's so much more because we can't see with their eyes. Mm-hmm. You bet. So. Well, cool beans. Well, let me know when you want to go back um, during the day, and we you can show us what we where you were right now, and then um, you know we can probably do it yet this weekend at some point. Um, right maybe Sunday if it's just a quick you know ten minutes or something. But and then we can get it get it done, and you know we can do the introduction there and stuff, and I think it'll be fun. All right. All right, cool. Well, if anything else cool happens, let me know. <laughs> Will do. See you now. All right. Bye, Tommy. See ya. There we go. Starting recording. This is LaDora. She's our new gal. Hi. Hello there. You know, Katie. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so what that big tree so we're out in our research area um glad we came out because well but there's so many trees down look at this one this was a big one totally down yeah in the last so we haven't we just kind of got here just a little bit ago so we're just kind of yeah. walking around so tell mm -hmm. us where you are look at this one. i'm at the same place i was at when uh, i did the night broadcast yeah. The night. And uh, I'm just kind of going back and retracing my steps. And mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what we've got going on here. And okay. uh, it should be kind of interesting, kind of a yeah. daytime, nighttime. Sure. 
Absolutely. Right. Like, Boy, there's a, there's a lot of trees down behind you there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, we were here probably two months ago in the snow, and none of these were down. But, you know, we've had such big storms up here. Yeah. So, and I, I was looking for, last time we were here, we found all these cool art, you know, tree bows. And there was like an X that marked the spot, right? And then it kind of pointed us right over there. I'm not finding them, but it's possible that they just came down in the winds, you know? Yeah. Ah, so tell us where you are. Like it's it's the road that goes to the pit. Uh actually uh up here is where I'm gonna take in the uh blood moon tonight. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a good wide open space and uh good visibility there. But uh this is like the uh the travel road that goes into it. And uh, it's a private road and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, there's always lots of stuff to see. Mm -hmm. But when I was up here, remember when I said, uh, this is the gas well? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. This is the gas well. And uh, this made that and stuff like that which is there's nothing unusual about that but uh still it'll kind of make you crawl out of your skin oh hear that noise but uh oh because you heard something and i remember you yeah. saying that that was the gas well or something yeah so part of the ambiance but uh yeah absolutely and we're gonna take the we're gonna Go up the trail and then take a left onto a smaller trail. And I'm still looking for that X marks the spot. Have you seen the X marks the spot? No. You guys haven't seen those tree bows either yet, right? That is so bizarre. It looks like a nice day out there too. Oh my, it sure is. Finally, it's actually, we some, finally we get some nice weather. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to explain that it's hot. No. Okay, right about in here is when I did the first woo. That was like kind of directed down to this area. Yeah, lots of trees down here. Look, I'm gonna put it on the on the woods and lots of wet. That that's like a just the same type of environment that I'm in. It, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Like I said, we've had so many storms coming through here that it's just. Oh, there's some arches over there. I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for though. Looks pretty good. But I thought they were right yeah. over here. So you're going to the gas, the gas well thing? Actually, I'm, I'm beyond it. I'm going to go up here and oh, turn around. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> going yeah. uphill a little bit. Uh, yeah. A little bit more of that detriment. <laughs> this is a lovely little tree bowl. I don't think I've seen this one before. Can you see it? Well, that's a good one. Yeah, it's really like a total arch. Yes. I don't think I should go through it. You know, it, my medicine man always said you're supposed to stand at the bottom and ask for permission. I don't know. All right. Oh, and there's the big one. Hey, I found him, you guys. 
Yeah, they're over here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So if this is the one I think, you got to see this. It is, it's almost like a structure, sort of. It's massive, and it's only made up of a few trees, but they're like most definitely trained to be like in arches. Yeah. Here we go. All right, look at this. Can you see? Yes. See how those are? And there's yeah. like a few. And it and see how they just I mean it's just I this is new in the last year, I'm sure. But look at how it goes up through and like that. Awesome. And these trees are held down by one another, right? So I feel, I feel like something, and they're from different directions, so they're not, it's definitely not like a storm came through because they would all be in the same direction, yeah. right? Yeah. And these are very definitely trees that are alive still, and this one was twisted, but see, look, here's the bottom of one, and then it goes all the way up and then over. That is oh. awesome. Yeah. Isn't it cool? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we found them. I thought maybe they it had blown down, but and they're all held down. Yeah. See, look at this. It, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing the engineering that goes into that. Like it. Oh. I know. Well, it's, it's, here, let me go back a little bit so you can get the total view. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Isn't that just awesome? How tall is that the one arch there? How how far up in the tree is it? Uh twenty feet. About like Well, here you guys hold this. I'm gonna walk over there so we can see. And I know I'm short, but you can kind of gauge it. <laughs> so it's like three steps yeah. in height or more. Five steps. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably like twelve foot, sixteen foot. Yeah, at least. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be, that would not be out of the ordinary. It's not crazy, you know. It's not wild. I mean, look at how it's just totally. That's so cool. And that one is underneath the other one. Yep. And then these other ones are kind of around it. Kind yeah, of. it looks like they're all going towards it. Yep. And then there's another arch over that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is cool. It is cool. Yeah, that looks very much like the woods I'm walking. It looks just like it. Yeah. So what are you seeing on your side? Well, I'm just, I'm heading down to where the tree knock was at. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we had that tree knock that day. Yeah. And did you ever, when we got off the line, did you ever see anything or hear anything after that? No, actually, I didn't. Um. Boy, that, was, that was a, a weird tree knock too i mean because it was loud man it, i mean it was so loud look the flowers the flowers are pretty awesome this time of year oh, yeah. oh look at this tree the roots and everything are uprooted over here wow so it didn't just snap, it totally uprooted. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's so soggy over here. Ick. Don't come over here, you guys. It's too soggy. We'll go over this way. Right down to where that tree knot come from. Yeah, so are you guys a long way from your, from your home up there or about not 45 so minutes. We're about 45 minutes north. Yeah. This is our this is the original research area where we had that what we call the stick structure quadrant. 
but it's yes. no more. I mean, they've just let it go away. So, but then we're finding all these other things in this other part of the woods that never used to be anything. So, isn't that interesting? I don't really know what to think about all that. What are you saying? Um, I don't know if this really picks up on there or not. I'm just seeing some impressions. Oh, like footprints? Yeah. I don't know. Cool. It really turns out so good. You know, the problem with being in the woods is there's so there's so many leaves. It would be really hard to find a footprint because you can't even see ours, right, when we walk through. Yep. Yep. So unless it's just straight mud or straight grass, you know. Yeah. And I mean, actually, go ahead. There's not that much mud up here on top of this hill. I mean, there is, but right yeah. now yeah. there's not. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the roots of this tree that came down. There were two of them. Jeez. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. In, yeah. The other ones are still standing there, but yeah, yeah that one's not. Okay. Isn't that weird how that happens? Yeah. Yeah, see, like, this is like a total drop-off, and this is where the tree knock come from. Oh, it was right Here's there. A, yes. Pretty thick wood. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I can narrow it down. Yeah. I think you should do a howl. Actually, let's see what happens. Yeah, I can't do them all. I'll do a howl. Let me get into position. Somebody down there fishing is going to be petrified. I know. Well, that's why I'm, I, <laughs> I haven't seen anybody out here today, but it is a public land, you know, so. Okay, I'm listening. Maybe we'll get something here too. Hey, Katie, do a howl. Do a howl. Come on. For a Bigfoot, a Bigfoot yell. <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> we'll yeah. walk over by the swamp and then I'll do it to see if anything happens. I haven't had much luck doing the daytime nails, but uh, you never know. Yeah. You never know. They might yeah. be attracted, you know, and you know, who is that? You know, it could happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so here's the wetland. Isn't that why I went through the ice, Katie? Yeah. It is. There's the paper dams over there, right? Mm-hmm. I did not. No, but we were petrified because we didn't know what to do because we both didn't want to go under. Yeah. I just stood there and just keep my down. Because <laughs> that's what squadrons do. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there's, I see a couple hikers over here. I better not do that. Right now. <laughs> I'm not scared of the life out of them. Go ahead and get your girls to howl. Laugh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, so we get it over here. 
Nothing? You're hearing nothing over there, huh? No. Wow. Nice scenery, though. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, it's amazing that we're both on this, on a beautiful, sunny day, looking at all the trees budding out. It's about 70 degrees here in the last 5,000 lakes. Gorgeous. I guess we deserve it after this winter. It's been a tough one. Yeah. You, you wonder how anything survives in winter. I know, right? Oh, squishy stuff here. Ladora, you better walk over here because you don't have rubber boots. I think, I think you're okay if you walk right there. Oh yeah, look at this thing. This is from all the storms. It's like this. Woo! There's part of the wetlands. I went, I went through the ice right over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and the funny part was we said it was so cold that day remember katie and i said i think i can do it i think i can do it and so we're walking a little bit further finally i couldn't feel my toes and it was like okay i think we need to go home now <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah it is beautiful look oh isn't that pretty? That and then is that's nice more, right there. more marshland really over that up. way. Are we going to be able to get across that? Yeah, I think so. That looks like uh, Grassman territory there. Tell me about Grassman. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Uh, the the uh, Bigfoot in Ohio, the Grassman. Oh. Down by Salt Fork, which oh. is in the east, southern southern pa central or uh, southern ohio or central ohio cool i don't know if i can walk on these and then yeah i don't think so i wonder i wonder how the water is it over there too oh this is gross this is yeah look at this it's like really marshy oh my god Yeah, we'll just run down here quick. Are you okay? Absolutely. Okay, we'll be right back. We won't be down this way long. I just want to go check on that weird thing that we found last time we were here. Remember yeah. we did that live video from there? Yep. Yeah. That it was like a it was like a super big arch thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, grossness. <laughs> okay so now we're coming up to the um stick structure quadrant area that really isn't stick structure quadrant i can't even say it anymore it really isn't a stick structure quadrant anymore because over the years they've just let them go but what's interesting though okay once we get there you gotta see this so we built our own stick structure right in the I middle remember. of it yes and now it's like Looks it's like something added to it, but we're yeah. Not yeah, it's like some they've been adding to it with big, like big branches, not just a little branch, but heavy timbers. Which isn't that weird? Yeah. So they're letting I'm... the rest of them, they're letting the rest of them just they're not maintaining them, but the one that we built seems like there's more to it. I have never heard of that before. I know. Isn't that it's so weird? You did not do a yeah. good enough job, is what they're telling us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Well, we are a bunch of human girls, you know. We don't have that power. <laughs> My gosh, what a gorgeous day. You seen anything over there, Tommy? Footprints or anything? <laughs> Frog eggs? Footprints. <laughs> No, I think frog eggs. Frog eggs, yeah. Oh, there's probably a lot of those up here, too. Yep. Waiting to hatch. Yep. Yep, but yep, no, yep. I uh, cannot find any tracks in here. 
Well, I think it's cool that that we're walking here in the daylight and, um, you know, we did that filming when you were there in the nighttime and of course we couldn't really see anything. So mm -hmm. it's fun to see where you were. Yeah. When you were squatching. Yeah. And I'm going to be back here tonight too, because, uh, like I said, I'm going to, going to take in the uh, blood moon tonight. And, yeah. Uh, Full moon. Here. Yeah. And it's crazy chaotic energy too. So, oh. I mean, it's because there's on a the, lunar eclipse, right? On the eve of, uh, of an election. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Man, it's really yeah. something. It's yeah, crazy and Mercury is in retrograde too. So there's all kinds of things happening right now. So just bizarre stuff. I'm telling you, okay, we're almost over here. And then if we want to hang up, we can. But I just got to show you this structure that we made. Because <laughs> it's amazing. I, you know, I wonder that this, so this area here used to be a really cool structure. It almost looked like a wigwam is what I would say. Um, and then they just kind of let it go. It was the coolest structure, but now it does almost look like, you look at all that stuff like right there. And they're like crossed. I'm not really sure. Maybe they decided they're going to try to build it up again. I don't know. Kind of weird. A lot of cool structures up there. Man, oh well, man. This is the quadrant, right? But yeah. Uh, I mean, this is what we were so excited to find all those years ago. And then over the years, like I said, there's where is ours? Oh yeah, okay, okay. We're almost here. Oh my god, there's so many trees down, it's super hard to walk through this. So we made that one as ours, which we kind of modeled after the wigwam. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of more bold. And then that one is ours. And look at, I mean, it's bigger. And we didn't do it. <laughs> so who did? You must you know, have some uh, secret admirers out there. Maybe. Maybe, but yeah, it's, it's definitely wider because when we had it, it was just like a few that were up like this. And now there's like a whole bunch. And then that one over there used to be bigger. But, you know, Katie, it almost looks like that one's been added to, too. So maybe they're coming back to this area. Or maybe they've decided it's OK. I don't know. I mean, how do we know? We don't know anything. Yeah, we don't know anything. That's exactly right. Yeah, but this one seems like it's more, it's different than we were here last time. And then there's some more marshland. And then if you can get across, I, I would don't even think I would try that today because the water's too high. But mm -hmm. if you can get across there, there's a whole bunch of stuff over there. You know, there's like, there was a, 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 a structure with such wild energy underneath it, like an energy portal. And we felt like they moved across the, across the water, you know? Mm -hmm. So we will get there eventually, but yeah, there's a lot of paranormal stuff happening over there too. And we actually spent the night there a couple of years ago and heard some stuff, but yeah, it was cool. So Anyway, so that's what I got. Oh, it was nice taking a walk with you. Yeah, for sure. Nice walking with you, too. So we will, should we end it? And then if I find anything, I'll shoot you a text. And sure. if you find sure. anything, shoot me a text so we can jump back on. Yep. yep. Okay, sounds good. Have a great afternoon. See you, Steph. Bye. Bye, Bye now.
fills the sky thunder and flame storm riders flying by and they bring the bring the pain and when the lightning comes down when the lightning comes down when the lightning comes down it's gonna burn this mother Gonna burn this hole. 